The main reasons we switched from After Effects to Nuke uh, or other programs were, were manifold. I think there was sort of a, a creative desire. We found a program that was 32-bit linear. The interface felt much more fluid and quicker. And one of the big differences for us was that in, an, in another program, like an After Effects program, which is a really good program in its own right, everything is nested. Whereas in, in a node-based program like Nuke, we could really zoom out and see the big picture. The node system became kind of, it just made sense, is that it seemed like the best way of figuring things out. Let me add a color corrector. I don't really want to change that, so let me just add another one, see if I like that. And all of a sudden, your brain started to work in this kind of like little, almost like you have like a little memo pad. It's like, I, I love this, but let me add this one other thing that I could turn on or off. To make the switch, you know, based on nodes versus layers is definitely worth it. Uh, anything that I get, any plugin that I get that's complex, there's going to be a learning curve and you're just going to have to dive in head first. But once you get past that, that hill of worrying about, can I do this in nodes? Will I be able to understand nodes? It just seems uh, a much more elegant solution to the same type of problem. The efficiencies of Nuke, the, the, the thing that we go on about it, and of course we're not the only ones, but iterations, 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 it's really important to be able to turn the crank a lot of times. Not only in terms of you know, getting feedback from the client, but just as a creative process. Anything that will allow us to get a visual result from some change that we made quickly is hugely important to us. One of the biggest reasons that we switched to Nuke by far was the 3D workspace. Nuke becomes so sophisticated that you have to have it for all of the 3D things and functions it does. You have the ability to you know, move the camera in 3D or move an element in 3D and see the results in short order. And once we went into a place where you can hit the tab key and go into 3D, we never went back. Nuke is much more intuitive on how the color management works. It's not like buried deep into a menu, it's right there. So having perfectly matching color allows us to give the client something better quicker. And the fact that you could change color and change different ways of working it, and it's all in 32 bits, so that means there's no banding associated with these operations you're doing, you know, it's kind of an ideal tool. Any artist wants to be able to mold their tools into their own creative working style. You have to have it to be able to translate to anybody else that's in the world. And it feels like more and more people, now in the, the shows I've been doing, more and more people are sort of nuke-based. It's good software, it's good technology. They, they're smart people and they listen. So uh, I, I would not be surprised to see Nuke continue to make advancements and we're gonna be there every step of the way. If you buy a really nice prepackaged toy, it's a great toy and it can do some really cool things. It can move its arms, it can turn its head. You can have a lot of fun with that toy, but it's prepackaged. That would be a program like After Effects. If you give someone the tools to build any toy they want to, that's Nuke. Mm -hmm. Once you learn how to build any toy you want to, it's addictive. You're not mm -hmm. gonna wanna go back because you can really make it your own.